Hi, my name's Pete Fine, and I've been hacking for freedom. <laughs> This video is from Tunisia. It shows a flamethrower being used to disperse protesters. What I find compelling here is not the violation of the Geneva Conventions, but the phones. People desperately trying to get word out, to show the world what's happening. And that's why information needs to be free, right there in grainy, glorious cell phone video. Here's what I've done for freedom in the last few months. I helped Anonymous organize global protests on January 15th in support of WikiLeaks and free speech. With one week of public planning, we put together protests in 105 cities around the world. One week, 105 cities. Still think we're just a bunch of script kiddies? On that subject, let me go on record and say I don't DDoS or deface. And if the feds are watching this, screw you. <laughs> Ten days later was Egypt's Jan 25 movement, which saw a nearly total blackout of the internet, cellular, and SMS service. Most of my work here was with Telecomics, an association of internauts who defend free communication. Telecomics is yin to Anonymous is yang. If Anonymous takes sites down, Telecomics keeps them up. What these groups have in common with each other and with the protesters on the ground is that they are truly leaderless and possessed by a radical passion for freedom. We operate as a duocracy. A form of organization in which people who get things done get things done. Here's a little bit of what Telecomics did for Egypt. When the net was up, we provided VPNs, Tor, and other encryption for safe communication. To restore access to censored sites, we built mirrors and proxies. We served as a manual IRC to Twitter relay. Tweeting for Egyptians who were unable to do so themselves. When the net was down, we went low tech. When countries block, we devolve. We worked with ISPs and individual users to run hundreds of dial-up modem lines. We recruited ham radio operators from around the globe to help establish radio communication. Working with anonymous. We sent comms and medical information to every fax machine in Egypt we could find. We also set up a reverse fax service for transmitting news out of the country. We nmapped the entire Egyptian IP address space to find a few hundred machines that were still up. We then injected human-readable messages into their web server logs. Current development projects include. Internet live CDs using off-the-shelf hardware to run a local Usenet, and how-tos for building two-way radios from repurposed consumer electronics. We've been able to reuse much of this work for Libya, Bahrain, Yemen, Saudi Arabia, and Iran, and Wisconsin. Which is a good thing because after working 20 hours per day for eight days on Egypt, I really needed some sleep. This is an exciting time to be a programmer and a person. We have the power to make a real difference in the world, to help people achieve what they want for themselves. It's been a long, long winter for freedom in the Middle East. And the rest of the world, but we're beginning to see signs of spring. Join us. Thank you.